Hey there, everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm Justin, and we are Prego <laughs> Italia, living our Italian dream. We're American expats, formerly from California, and now living full-time in beautiful Scalia, Italy. Today is actually skipped over spring. It feels like <laughs> summer. It did, and the only reason I'm in a sweater, which I do believe I say in this video, <laughs> is because I dressed thinking it was going to be a little bit cooler than it was today. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm cooking and sweating, and I'm about to go put shorts on, and it is a beautiful day. I've got pants on, and I'm like, it's a shorts day, so... Wow, absolutely gorgeous. If it jumps to this and skips right from that season into the summer feel, I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's sunny today. I guess, you know what? I feel like we truly do live in paradise. We are so blessed we say Think that. so. Yes, yeah. living here, it's like the just... I don't know. In Eden, it's just wonderful. And I think one of the things <laughs> I love that Italy. makes it a complete paradise, I mean, we're in Italy, it's mm -hmm. beautiful, but I think one of the things that make it a total paradise are all of you guys, all of our wonderful oh, yes. viewers. We don't take you for granted. We absolutely love you, and we mm -hmm. appreciate each and every one of you yep. coming on this Italian dream with us. So, everybody has you. busy lives. We know your time's precious. We thank you for choosing to spend it with us. Thank you for uh, turning on our channel and watching the episodes thank you for the feedback listening to these two viewers <laughs> the feedback's awesome we love your input we really do appreciate and take it all to heart thank you for the kind words it's it's enduring and we think of you as our youtube family and we love you all and we thank you so much it really i mean it's a, it brings smiles to our face constantly throughout the day just to you know hear the lovely things you say and absolutely <laughs> we know you all by name we have a lot of you so first names and stuff the ones that have been um actively leaving comments for the months and stuff it's it's lovely we feel like your friends and speaking of we've had the pleasure of meeting some viewers and which is always yes, a wonderful thing we, we have become that. great friends with a uh, rosen R roberto couple um yes. that moved to the area and they were previously viewers before we became friends love it and obviously you all know about our affection for um graziella oh, so, oh my goodness the viewer <laughs> that gifted us the garden gifts amazing so and <laughs> thank, you. So, thank you it's nice to meet with people in person it's nice when we're out and about and um just today we were out and having um at best of Teresa rosa having um did i say i right? have taught him how to Yay, say that I said word it. We were, i can do miracles we were having a cappuccino and um this lovely couple from finland i remember the name tom i feel like yeah, i have tom actual magical powers tom and kirsten they were very lovely hello so they, they stopped and said oh the, the gentlemen that do the YouTube and they were a very kind, charming couple. They live here part time, but it's so sweet when they stop and say hi and yeah, so hello to you nice. folks. I know you're watching because you said you do. So lovely to meet you. Have fun on your trip this trip. No, we hope you guys do. School <laughs> yes. is a beautiful place. And everybody, if you take the chance to visit, uh, you know, this part of Calabria and our beautiful cities around us, and uh, it, it's quite enjoyable. We like to share this with everyone because we're just so impressed by the area and um, the word's out, you know, <laughs> Calabria is booming. So it's definitely <laughs> a great place. It often in the past was, you know, off the radar of a lot of international travel, but oh, it's amazing. And that's actually kept it probably so just absolutely beautiful. The beaches, everything is just gorgeous here with all the amenities you need. <laughs> so, so I will say Justin had talked about um, spring coming on and how that's a wonderful thing and you mm -hmm. guys are seeing me scratch my eyes. <laughs> spring is a wonderful thing except for the fact that it brings forth allergies and poor Michael here mm. suffers from them. Yeah, so. so we've heard a lot of friends say it's, <laughs> it's you know, well, you've, spring is in the air so the flowers are blooming and oh boy, oh boy, but we've got lots of fun things ahead and you'll see some of it's yeah, uh, garden related. Yay! So a little, <laughs> you'll find out in just a little bit of that surprise awesome but it's absolutely glorious today is stunning i'll go ahead and pan for the view lovely i couldn't film in that direction because the sun is so bright but it's so beautiful absolutely beautiful love it love it love it so we feel we truly feel blessed and we I, do oh my goodness the workers have a day off today so it's nice and quiet we're having a nice time outside of us doing gardening and we're gonna share the gardening adventures with you. i did want to say one mm -hmm. thing though because you know i don't think we mentioned it in our past video um so a few days ago we were at da pietro lido da pietro mm -hmm. which is the place that has that amazing hot chocolate they're year round they're guys. one of the lido's year and round. It, we went to get some hot chocolate it was one of those days where it wasn't really hot wasn't really cold and then immediately after we got our hot chocolate we saw another drink and Served. it is called uh, Crema Cafe. And 
Oh my god. Best description. <laughs> it's like a fluffy, almost a moussey texture. Like a coffee whipped coffee, cream. Coffee, coffee mousse. Like amazing. Type. Delicious. So. Refreshing. <laughs> it wasn't quite like a granita or anything. It was very it was very moussey and delicious. So, we're, so that's our yummy. new this <laughs> season. That'll be our new little uh, yum yum. When it's, when it's too hot for the hot chocolate? Yeah, it's and the hot chocolate, that. as you know, is say the hot chocolate <laughs> full name. It's called the chocolato fondant. That's the I very think thick. Is what it's called. That's the <laughs> thick, thick hot chocolate that you have to spoon and dip the little cookies in. Oh my goodness! But I think you you can do that year round. You love yes, it. Yes, so I can. That oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet tooth. Oops. I'm supposed to be reducing but my sweets. But once again, it's but... not that sweet. <laughs> I know. But we've been eating our breakfast at home a lot with our um. I do um eggs and then I I use. He says that like you guys mushrooms. should feel bad for us over. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I like eggs and mushrooms, and, and we like with the cheese and omelets. I we make. like eating at home. <laughs> <laughs> we have our toasters, so we do little toast with the jelly. Oh, my goodness. What is the fruit that it posts? A fruity de bosca. Oh my gosh, the jam is so good here. So oh, yummy, it's yummy. amazing. Mm, so delicious. <laughs> so, anyway, we've been enjoying that and, and such, but. Um, Oh, we wish you could be here. So if it, if you're traveling, come to Italy. It's wonderful. Yes, yes. and we're going to conclude this introduction the mm -hmm. same way we always do, by no longer gabbing. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to say a very big thank you to all of those who have subscribed to our channel. You guys are awesome. We love you. So and <laughs> if you've not subscribed, come on and click that little button. It's easy to do. It's the easiest way to help us out. It's free. And you guys, yes, know I'm you getting love a sunburn. Yes, it's so funny because I have a little, a little bald spot back here. And Michael's like, oops, you got a sunburn on it. But yes, I sunburn quickly. So, oh my goodness, I'll probably be like extra okay. red. And so, the last <laughs> thing since the gathering is done is we are going to say thank you for all of the comments that oh, you Oh, yes, guys once get. again, love them, keep them coming. So, love you all. Enjoy the episode. Bye. Hey, Michael, hey, tell man. everyone what a beautiful summer-like day today is. <laughs> it is wonderful today. You're in a sweater. I'm, I'm in, in a, a short sweater, sleeve. I don't need it. No, no. I'm in the sweater just because you I thought like it'd orange. be colder than it is, and it's not. Oh, it's gorgeous. Well, we have a surprise for everyone. We do. Uh, Graziella is darling. She was started out of you, and now she is a dear friend. Yes, we Not just because she gifted. You. Thank you so much for everything. Not just because she gave us <laughs> gifts, but we get on so well with her we have so much in common and she's familiar with um san diego california she spent quite some time there and as you know michael's from temecula and that's where we met and that's yeah. san near san the diego the other wine country <laughs> so in california we're quite familiar with all the parts of san diego so it's fun to get to talk to her about a place that we also know and she's been to savannah georgia which we know well so we have a lot in common she speaks perfect yes. english and chance for her she said to keep up on her english here Absolutely. but uh, she surprised us we went to her house today, and you'll never believe what she gifted us that she said she was no longer using. You will fall over, people, because we did. It is so cool. Our table. Oh, my goodness. The table that she heard me say that I was looking for. She had one, and look at how fabulously fantastic that is. At this point, I think we need to name her Saint Graciela. The Saint. She'll be the, uh, the patron saint of the villa. No. I do agree. I do. Yes. What a sweetheart. And well, she'll have many wonderful times at that table or any table she chooses to sit at when she visits. So, wow. So, nice. so imagine the grapes growing in the vines and we've got those on order. They're being shipped here. We get those planted. Oh, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then Nancy has a, um, our friend Nancy has a beautiful exterior, like a votive chandelier. So we were going to hang that down on a chain and have votive candles at night. It'll be so romantic. You'll see that when it's placed up soon. Yes, absolutely. And well, the fun didn't stop because Graziella gifted some more plants. Yes. yes. More and lilies. When we're talking, when we're talking uh, the plants, I wanted to say... <laughs> These are all new additions, by the way. Just uh, <laughs> in our last video, we had comments saying that we needed to do an herb garden oh. and that we needed to get a hedge of rosemary. Well, fall Obviously, over. we're not doing the hedge, Gra but she Graziella did give us, gave us rosemary. rosemary. <laughs> and I have a pot there, a nice big terracotta. I still have something I'll need to plant in that. Cacti, a little cute little cacti. And more, she said they were orchids and they actually, bulbs came from um, her mom and she's got the beautiful colors, so that's lovely. And wow, folks, so as you can see, some new addition of uh, additional pots arrived today and the rosemary, isn't that a beautiful terracotta pot? Look at this, it's got, well, I'll show somebody else sometime, but it's got beautiful like Roman, like carvings on the rosemary terracotta pot. It's gorgeous. We'll get a pretty place for that near the kitchen, of course, so we can grab them to cook with. Yes. <laughs> and oh, and you see the new additions here. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? 
Beautiful, and yes, we have the little laundry thing back where it belongs. And we'll have the gate up, I think, tomorrow morning. They'll be getting the gate up tomorrow morning. The workers had a day off today, so. Oh, wonderful. And that's a climbing rose. I did pick that up at, at um, I was shopping at Con Ed and they had a, the last rose and it said it was a climbing red rose. So that will be beautiful. We'll let that cascade up and over the fence and do its thing. And if it needs to, I'll transplant it to a um, vine growing a lattice. So, oh, I just love it. And here we planted a rose too. Um, I got this the other day, to, um, white and pink rose, which I love. So gave it some water. It's wilting a little bit, but wow, everybody. The table has arrived. Amazing. We were very, very <laughs> shocked. Over that. Amazing. Shocked over everything she has done and very humbled and grateful for Yes, us. and look how beautiful that looks there. I'll give it a coat of the exterior stain because we have leftover from the pergola. And I'll give the chairs a new coat too. And they'll be all protected in the same tone and yes. um, a fresh up and have the extra chairs. And we'll put those back here um, just for extra chairs for seating. So. Wow, beautiful day today. So we have lots of places to sit and dine. This is right out from the kitchen. Oh, more plants. Let me show them another gorgeous plant. It's fun, it's not stuff from this wonderful woman. <laughs> Get ready for this one. Isn't that gorgeous? Reminds us of our Palm Springs time. So this is a beautiful, beautiful one too. Mike, look how pretty. And she gave us the um, metal cage. It's for hanging, but I thought it would be charming there to go with the metal set just to set it in the cage. Oh yeah, I actually Isn't like that Isn't that charming? <laughs> that looks really nice there. Lovely. <laughs> so lovely. That goes nice there. And I did want to say that um, I cannot remember off the top of my head who said it, but I did get the comment saying that we needed the 50 foot fence in the back to keep the <laughs> HOA lady out. And I, oh, that was I funny. laughed out loud because <laughs> I do feel the same. <laughs> Tina's sweet. We don't know if she watches that. Take that back. She's, she's sweet, but I want. Bless her heart. She's a sweet lady. She's just wanting the area to look beautiful. So she's doing her job. 50 I'll foot. 50 that. foot. <laughs> I will respect. I'm sure it's a lot of hard work to. Be, a, be in H everybody's H business. <laughs> if she watches this, you're gonna. She's gonna know that I shake you. You're gonna get side eye from her balcony. That's what you're gonna get. One day when you start getting the shade from Tina, you're gonna know she watched you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna go mm -hmm, you're gonna get known as shade <laughs> and you Stop. guys you guys should see that you guys should see the opposite side what justin's doing because he's emulating the shade i am giving side be eye. Giving. i've got my side eye known as shade down mm -hmm. and you're getting them back and forth mouth chew go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay love you all thank you graciela thank and, you thank you and we're, we're gonna have you over anytime you want you're yes, welcome open you are invitation more than welcome. Sweetheart, you know the way. Hey, Mikey. Hey. I'll let you finish your beautiful artwork, and I'll show everybody later what you're up to. <laughs> I'll show them what they're up to. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I bet people don't think I really named the plants. So I'm, I'm going to go through a name. I've got most of them named already. So here we go, folks. We have Ginger, Posh, Sporty, Baby, <laughs> and scary. We all know who those are, Spice Girls. Why? And then we're going to go to another girl group, Nanorama. Love them. That would be Karen, Sarah, and Siobhan. Yes, they all have names, people. And then, of course, darling Marcella after Marcella Detroit. Love her. And we will name this beautiful one Cindy after Cindy Lauper. And here we have Susie Sue after Susie Sue of Susie and the Banshees because kind of spiky cool hair. Kind of adds a whole other level to the word bimbo in Italian. No, they need names that they do. And we'll name big old lemon tree here, Madonna. There she gets the little prime spot here. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. And let's see here. That would be Tori after Tori Amos. And here we're going to break from singers, of course. And we have Bougainvillea. We'll call that one I called Sofia after Sofia Vergara. And then uh, another Spanish one, sexy one is Shakira. <laughs> Too funny. And then we will go with Kate for Kate Bush. That's funny. Get it, Kate Bush. Hee hee hee. And I already have the orange tree. We call that one Cher. She gets another majestic one there. And I have this batch to name. You all wait your turn. And after my dear friend Stacy Q, we have here the rose. And then um, Jazz. And we'll call that one Acacia. The girls from Bardot. <laughs> yes, I'm real. And then we'll go with a little fun here, boy names here. We've got um, Paul, Ringo, 
and George and Sean. And then this one's Yoko. And then we go over here to Prince. And then we've got Apollonia, Vanity after Vanity 6, and Sheila E. And once again, we have the orange tree, the one and only Cher. And here we have delightful Jody Watley, what a beauty. And in the back, wonderful Human League, love them. And we have Phil in the middle there, Human League, and we have Suzanne and Joanne, oh, lovely. In the front, we have Dr. Depeche, of course, we have Dave right there. We've got Alan, Andy, and Martin. And Rosemary, we're gonna keep named Rosemary. So, hey, so there you go. And here we have Kelly, after Kelly Osborne. love her. So yes, I do name plants, everybody. And of course I will retain them. A lot of personal meaning. So yes, if you also talk to your plants, if you name your plants, please let me know in comments. Michael thinks I'm an absolute cuckoo nut for this, but I swear they grow better and they just have a better relationship with you. I love my plants. I always fall in love with them. And they're like, some people have uh, pets that they love and I love my pets and I love my plants too. So thank you, Graziella. Yes, I really did. <laughs> I really did name them. And um, like I said, let me know in the comments if you also do, if or am I alone? But anyway, I haven't been smoking anything funny, haven't been drinking. This is really me. Michael's like, oh, you're going to come off like a cuckoo case. But oops, I am what I am. Love you all. Go ahead. Don't be so shy. He is such a shy artist. I Michael, don't like my work. Our viewers already, <laughs> we've had many people say you do beautiful work. So isn't that lovely? Tell everybody it's, about it. Okay, so it's... The um, city of Barabella, truly. Adorable. But, Michael, that's lovely. Absolutely lovely. He's working on one of the villa, everybody. You're going to love it when it's done. So, Michael, beautiful. Thank you. Gorgeous. Okay? You thank should be you very care. proud. Michael. I don't like it, though. I don't like my work. <laughs> Michael it's... likes to work with the Justin, Justin of said... Pencils. I think it's charming. <laughs> Justin said that I needed to show my work. But... Yes. <laughs> He's such a shy artist. Mikey. Very proud of you. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Beautiful. I always enjoy your work. And what a lovely spot you have to be inspired by. <laughs> since he wanted. Um, these are going to be, they're not done yet. It's the but they're going to be the um, Test of the Moro. Ooh, okay, cool. Um, so, cool. Which are the Sicilian heads? The He'll Sicilian tell you about heads. the story. I'll tell you about those in the future. We have really ceramic ones. We've had when um, we went to Sicily last October, too, yes. with my mom. So, oh, love that story. Say that as a tease if you don't know it, Michael. Will well, go ahead and tease everybody. Go ahead. Okay. So <laughs> I'll, show, to... I'll show a close up of the head base. Okay, yeah. so the story behind the Testa de Moro, for those of you that don't know, I thought they were really cool. So you I love macabre. Research, <laughs> I do love macabre. And you can Google so, it. You can. What, uh, what do they put? Sicilian heads? And it'll well, come up in Google. I'm going to tell them. The story <laughs> okay, but they can Google to back it up. So the story is that um, a woman was out on her balcony um, watering her garden. Ancient times. And a uh, gentle and a prince um, found her and fell in love with her. And so he decided he was going to declare his love to her. And he was Moorish. And he declared his love. He stole her virginity. And only after he had done so did she find out that he had to return to his wife and children from his homeland. Devastated by this, she killed him and cut off his head. And then realizing what she had done, she was devastated and she realized that she needed to keep a part of him with her forever so she with his head um she put his head on the balcony and grew basil out of the top of it and Yum. every i know right pesto and every day she would water the plant with her tears and those who passed saw her basil plant and instantly grew jealous of it and so they started fashioning clay pots to resemble his head and they would grow their own basil out of it of course as the story goes nobody else's basil compared to the basil that she was growing you so. go girl and moral of the story is do not piss off a sicilian woman everyone so. dump 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 <laughs> off with his head <laughs> we actually have we actually have two sets oh yeah i'll bring them out so. and we'll show them <laughs> it's a great little story you can google you can just i think we've looked before um just put sicilian head story or something and uh, a <laughs> vase sicilian a vase heads or something lots of lots of things will come up to back up the story and it's cool michael loves some cop stuff I so do. i think they're super neat it's cute it's, it's romantic <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I'll bring those out right now. Okay, so these are our two sets of Sicilian heads, um, the or the Testa de Moro. Um, these are ones that we picked up with um, Justin's mom when she was here. We in got Sicily, them in yes. Sicily, and I simply had to have them. I thought they were super cute. That was last October. Uh, yes, yes. So. After I had found out the story, yep. I, I like I said, I loved the heads anyways. But then I found out the story, and I'm like, oh my god, I must have these. <laughs> Those are cute. Those are kind of whimsical so ones. They're, they're whimsical and they're fun. And, and then these are from our friend Nancy. Um, she gave them to us as a housewarming gift. And they're beautiful. Nancy and her family, thank you so much. We yes, those. we do love them. So. And everybody will find out I collect blue and white. So yes. those, those coordinate well with my blue and white and pottery collection. I personally like bright colors. Yes. So those ones are perfect for me. Pretty. <laughs> So of course you'll see these all over Italy. They're beautiful. Isn't and there's it a, a scary story behind it. Head. It is. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Michael's completed color pencil drawing of Testa de Moro, the Sicilian heads. He started it while we were out um, filming that yesterday. I just wanted to show it off. He's very shy, so he's probably going to be very embarrassed that I'm showing it, but I think it came out gorgeous. We are having a beautiful aperitivi at Valari Siciliani with our gorgeous couple friend here, is Roberto and Rose. They are so pretty and they're so charming to chat with. We're enjoying our delicious cocktails. We're having Aperol Spritz. And what are you having, Roberto? Campari. Oh, those are yummy too, I've heard. So. Campari. And so, Rosa, I want to ask just because I thought it was cute when you uh, told us, what is the nickname that you gave us when you watched our channel? Bachi Bachi Boys. Oh, that's just, so cute. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. And so thank I had you to have for you reaching say it. out. And yes, viewers, we have fallen in love with them. They are the most Bachi charming the couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. And congratulations on your new beautiful home in thank Santa you. Domenica, Talao. It's going to be absolutely <laughs> stunning. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Excited, thank you. Yeah. you. You guys are wonderful. It's so charming to, and wonderful to know you and spend time with you. <laughs> Yay. Even but let's enjoy this yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. Well, we will be waiting for our beautiful grapevines in the future to grow on the pergola above us. <laughs> Meanwhile, thanks to the wonderful table gifted today from Graziella, we have another place to sit and enjoy our morning coffee or our evening outside to dine. Or evening <laughs> coffee. Yeah, we like to mix it up. Eat it at that patio <laughs> over here, so it makes life fun, doesn't it? It does. Great for garden parties. <laughs> so anyway, I thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the episode today. We love you all, and we look forward we to really seeing the next do. visit. Thank you so much for um, continuing to watch our videos. Bachi bachi. Bachi bachi. And dare to dream. See you next time. Ciao. Hey everyone, so we have the exciting news. We are now on Patreon and you can find the link to that right here below. There will be the info for you to find us, Patreon. We actually, in advance, want to thank you very much for your patronage. Thank um, you. Your support will enable us to grow this channel to where we hope it gets to be and also enable us to travel throughout Italy and share many more experiences with you. So thank you in advance. Baci, baci. Baci.